All right, here's a little simple afternoon project you can do. It's a little cat. And a lot of this project is not the, the difficulty of it, it's just the, uh, the painting and everything like that that's done to it, in other words. And I'm trying to find little projects that are not real difficult that we can do um, for afternoon projects and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to do several little cats, in other words, in different forms and, and the way they do. So, uh, let's, uh, let me get my thing set up here. First of all, let's go ahead and just get this tail. The tail becomes very, very, uh, uh, okay, now, of course, the grain will go this way, okay? You want to cut cut it with the grain going that way. The tail is very, very thin. So that's the first thing we're going to... Uh, now, I don't want you to thin up so much that you... Uh, at first, in other words. I mean, we want to get it down, but... You know... This is a good project for a beginner to learn how to um, shape and do things like that. Excellent project. This tail really almost comes to a point on this little cat. We need to paint these projects. We've got the other cat and we've got the uh, the little chicken basically this is a sh shaping project so we're just gonna let this go for a minute let's go ahead and go in between our ears here Just like that. I'm trying to find little projects that are... And of course we have the legs also. Now you can take a coping saw and you can cut in between these legs. Or you can do it with your knife. I like to do it with a knife. Just kind of get them not a lot of problems. This is a very simple project that takes doesn't take very long. It's a very uh, uh, you know, and it's not a difficult project. Well, let's go ahead and just start shaping this project. Basically, there's not a lot of, of uh, detail in this piece. It's just shaping mostly. And of course, the uh, the the, the uh, face comes forward, and we have the little, of course, back here. A 
like I said, the tail itself comes to an absolute point. Uh, it comes to a point. It's very, very thin. Uh, very thin. The whole tail is. In fact. Do this for the and come back here for the face and we want to bring this down here as we bring the, the face and the legs down and all that stuff this is a shaping project not a lot of detail. This is not a detail project. This is shaping, basically. legs all that they're pretty thin but like I said it's a good shaping project for beginners or people who are just learning how to carve of course you know it may not be uh, between the legs and stuff it's kind of difficult for uh, beginners sometimes they're not they're not familiar with how to handle that so you can also just go ahead and leave this between the legs solid for a beginner to work with simple project very nice little project just kind of a uh, lesson in shaping and what people do they they, they uh, I saw they paint them real kind of uh, uh, frilly what I mean is they paint them real different colors and stuff like that so it makes them real cute Now this this uh, this tail is going to be even thinner than this, so of course you can buy you can actually you know you can make this bigger the pattern bigger and uh, actually a lot of these patterns I get I get off the internet what I'm saying is I get all I get a picture that I see of something and I like it and I basically a lot of times I get them off of eBay I go to eBay and I see the different uh, thing uh, it may be a uh, made out of glass or made out of what and then I just take the pattern from it and uh, I work from there I think that's that's unique. It's not unique. It's just that it's it's the way we we do things. You know, I mean, 
you see something that you like, you see something that you think your carvers would like, and um, let's separate those ears. There we go. And that's to come forward with them. Of course, they're going to have to come down. They're too big. But remember, cat ears are, are pointed. Like that. down bring that down now a lot of people go well wh why are you doing such you know you easier projects now and I think it's just because of the simple fact that uh, uh, a lot of people in my years of teaching and, and receiving letters and stuff there's just people that that want something that's simple doesn't take a long time and uh, it's easy to do and I try to provide that and cats are very very popular with people so um, uh, And the thing is about these little things, you can make a lot of them and you can paint them different colors and you can, you know, just just really uh, really do some some unique stuff with them. And you don't have a, a tremendous amount of time in them. And you don't have to do a lot of, uh, I know in teaching, uh, I teach s s people, I'm, I'm beginning to teach more people down in this area that want to learn. Uh, you always begin with projects that are, the problem with a lot of people when they first start learning how to carve is they want to carve elaborate things that they just can't, you know, uh, you know, let's start off with, can I, ca I carve a Chinese warrior with a sword and no, you can't do that because you and I haven't learned yet. A lot of people can't carve it. Even it's been, but I'm just saying, you know, it's 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 you have to learn that uh, you know you have to start off lightly. And these little projects are the kind of projects that you start off with. Projects that don't require a lot of of of, um, of detail. and stuff like that Like I said, that's what you you start off with, and that's what you do. So we just um, these are like I said, these are good little projects for uh, for beginners. Now I would not start a beginner on a small project like this. I would it would be a little bit bigger. But uh, you're, you're getting the general idea of how to how to shape them and.
carve them. Okay, basically this is this is basically the shape of the. Now I want to get my V tool. Here's my V tool. Now when I do ears. Ears. What I'm saying is when I uh, there it goes. I usually put my hand behind it, it's like this. See that? So I put my hand behind it so that it it won't break. I just kind of do this little number here. Get my knife. Cut it. And a lot of little things like that you can usually paint on the uh, like the nose and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be detailed. But I do like to, 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 to kind of come into the ears a little bit, I, I no matter what. Okay. Let me... And I'm going to take this and just come in between the legs a little bit. If you want to, you can put a little nose on him and all that other stuff. But uh, this tail is going to be, I'm going to make it real thin. You don't have to make it as thin as I do, but it's it's just... Okay, well, believe it or not, that's about all there is to this. It's, it's not, like I said, it's a, it's a very, it's just a shaping project. And uh, let me get in, get in here just a little bit. Uh, there we go. Let me get into this area a little bit. Get these legs shaped just a little bit. Back legs. Not a lot of shaping, just a little bit. Just kind of come up like that. Okay. Basically, this is this is the uh, this this is the little cat. This is the this is just there's not a lot of detail, like I said. Okay. get some of these saw marks off. Take my V-tool and just, there we go. And look at that, see? It's just a little cat. We don't need any eyes or anything like that. We can put eyes on it, but with it, people usually paint eyes on them when they're this small. All right, let me wet him. We do a little bit more thinness on this tape.